In the summer of 2001, Mike King and his monkey boy Radar travelled the length and breadth of Aotearoa, performing live comedy shows to packed houses. Rural New Zealand hadn't seen such quality entertainment since Top Town. Sadly, it had to come to an end, and it did, in Auckland's St James Theatre. Why? Well, because it was in dial driver's distance of Mike's home. It's not important. What is important is you're about to watch an audience with the King. Ah, oh, Kilda Auckland. What's that? Oh, nice to be back here in Auckland, man. Boy, a lot of beautiful women here tonight, eh? Woo hoo hoo. Oh, oh, don't get me wrong, there's a few bush pigs here as well. <laughs> but you Westy fellas need a route to eh, Bruce? <laughs> Uh, nice to be back in Auckland, man, because we just came from Hamilton. What a backward country-ass motherfucking town that one is, eh? <laughs> Lot of short arms down there, eh, Bruce? Not too many fast bowlers coming out of that town, I can tell you that. <laughs> we were down in Hamilton last night. A nice town, but geez, they've got a, a lot of strange shit happening down there, boy. They've got, like, I don't know if you know this, but they've got like <clears throat> four wheel drives with mud on them. What the fuck's going on there? <laughs> and big farmer types driving them too, eh? Not a Remy wear a slapper to be seen anywhere, eh, bro? <laughs> Cause one never gets the patch dirty in Auckland, do we? Oh no. Cause we're from Auckland, eh? What the, what the fuck is that? Me and Radar leave town for five minutes, we leave the idiots in charge, and they come up with that. <laughs> Apparently, this is our new provincial symbol. It looks like a woman's private parts, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to be back here, though, I tell you what. It's a beautiful, beautiful town. We started our little tour up in Whangarei on um, February the 27th. And uh, we got into um, we got into Whangarei, and on the front page of the Northern Advocate, there was this big main story. The main feature story was this, there's a huge methamphetamine problem in, in Whangarei among unemployed people. Anyone else get this shit? Speed problem among unemployed people. What the fuck do unemployed people need to snort speed for? So they can sit around and do fuck all faster? <laughs> sit there and watch videos on fast forward? Went from there down to um, down the east coast of, uh, of the North Island. I had my own problems down there on the east coast. I had my own problems because where I come from, when you go into the Marae, right? When you, when you go into the Marae and you greet people, you've got a hungi, right? And where I come from, the far north, when we hungi, it's a single long push. But down on the east coast, it's all different. Sometimes a single long push, sometimes a single short push, sometimes it's a double push, sometimes it's a double long push, here push, there push, everywhere fucking push, push. <laughs> Very confusing. It wasn't confusing for Ada, he just kissed every bastard on the lips. <laughs> big Māori fellas go, fuck off, man! <laughs> you should have seen the look on this big black fella's face when he slipped the tongue in. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, you're not an equestrian, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Went from there down to, um, to Hastings. <laughs> Huge brawl in the in the theatre in Hastings, like 1,100 people. Right, we did all the pubs on the east coast, not a lick of trouble, nowhere. Right, no trouble at all. We get to Hastings, man, 1,100 people in a three-tier theatre. Right, and we had this one heckler in the middle tier, and he heckled, we nailed him. He heckled, we nailed him. He heckled, we nailed him. He heckled, we ignored him. He heckled, we ignored him. He heckled, come on down, funny man. <laughs> and he did. He walks on the stage and I give him the microphone and said, go on in, funny man, be funny. And a guy in the front row looked up at him and went, oh, get off the stage, dickhead. <laughs> well, he abused him like this torrent of abuse. I ran on stage and I grabbed the microphone off and said, mate, on your bike, get off the stage. He walked off the stage as he was leaving. Someone from the gods threw a bottle whoom, straight past his head. Now, that should have been a warning. <laughs> Mm. 
but they're not very bright in Hastings, boy. <laughs> well, he got back up there and he started heckling again. He just started straight back into it again. Well, six of the biggest, blackest Māori Sheilas you've ever seen. <laughs> Just bitch slapped this poor bastard all around the field. <laughs> I actually stopped the show. It's like 15 minutes they were into this guy, right? I actually stopped the show and they were like, no, 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 Mike, it's right. We got him. We got him. We got him. <laughs> and where was Radar during all of that? Was he throwing himself between me and the thronging masses? Oh, no. There he was backstage filming himself naked, talking to the young, one of the young wahines. <laughs> But when the broad walked on stage in Nelson and started taking her top off, he was all over like a power on a rock, boy, I tell you. <laughs> we went, went from Hastings down to the, um, to the South Island, and we were traveling around in this beautiful year 2000 Grand Jeep Cherokee. Where is that puppy, brother? Beautiful car, man. Absolutely. Supplied by Gill Traps, if you need one. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, look at that. Oh, isn't it beautiful? That's Radar's house on the top. <laughs> man, this car's got everything, man. Got heated seats, it's got bloody, uh, it's got a 10 stack CD system, man. You crash into another car, you don't get one of those you know, like airbags. This thing comes out and sucks your dick, man. That's how it <laughs> Breathe some life back into you, eh? $90,000 worth of vehicle, folks. $90,000, man. What a fucking nightmare. Because how many Maoris you know own a $90,000 car? Especially in the South Island, man. We were stopped by every redneck cop in the South Island, boy. Hello, hello, hello. Where did you steal the car, Raggy? Best we put it back, eh? <laughs> and the South Island went to Blenheim. Anyone been to Blenheim? Yeah. It's the wine growing capital of New Zealand, isn't it? A man, you'd think a man would be able to get a cheap glass of wine there, eh? Went to this cafe, right? Went to this cafe, ordered a glass of white wine. The guy came back, said, that'll be 13 bucks 50. I said, what? I said, what the hell's in it? He said, Chardonnay. I said, I didn't order that shit, eh? I ordered Chardon. Hey! <laughs> And at 13 bucks, you better be ringing the whole case, asshole. <laughs> but I learned, because we went to Greymouth. We went to Greymouth. <laughs> and I went into this cafe in Greymouth and ordered a glass of Chardonnay. The guy took one look at me and said, mate, we don't serve that Auckland puff to coffee here. It's bushels or nothing. And I said, oh, yeah, give us the bushels, mate. He went, you want it in a glass, faggot? <laughs> we, we went from Greymouth, went down to Omaru. Fuck oh, now. I swear to God, you could hear the banjos dueling as we rode into town, boy. <laughs> I'm not saying, no, 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 I'm not saying that backwards or nothing, but I was talking to the little crippled kid playing the banjo outside the hall. I said, is it hard playing with that extra finger? <laughs> <laughs> he said, hold on, I'll ask me brother. <laughs> hey, Dad! Now, I'm not saying they're backwards or nothing like that. Seriously, I'm not saying they're backwards, but I went and got a haircut in Omaru. The woman said, what number do you want? I said, I have a number two. She shit on my head. <laughs> <laughs> you ever like done that? Have you ever like done that when you're in a foreign country? Just start speaking the local lingo, pick up the local accent, you know, not because you're an American or a wank or anything like that, just for ease of understanding. Have you ever done that? Because, like, we had to do that in Omaru. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not many Maris in that South Island. Any Maris here not? Any Maris here? Yeah, hey, what about Maldives? Any Maldives here? <laughs> you fellas all paid? <laughs> or would you tell them I was your cousin? <laughs> oh, no. Me and me, I'm related to Mike on his wife's best friend's sister's next door neighbor's dog side, eh? <laughs> Got a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm glad you fellas in here tonight. At least while you're in here, you're not outside ripping our cars off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, laugh it up, honkies. Radar's outside ripping your cars off. 
So if you get your car after the show and your stereo's gone, <laughs> come see me, I'll sell it back to you. <laughs> Might even sell you a better one. Coming up after the break. I wasn't the tall, dark, brooding, handsome man you see standing before you now. <laughs> 